Hi, hello. This is Anup here. Today we are going to talk about Outlook email recall options. If you have sent a mail by mistake and added someone who is not supposed to be there in that email, then you want to recall that email message. How you can do that? That is what we are going to see in this particular video. And we will also check: Is there any option in Gmail? to recall the gmail message before it reaches the recipients so this is very handy option sometimes and we'll go into all the details about this also we will look into the reporting side of it whether the reports available in microsoft 365 for this feature is reliable or not all those details we are going to check in this video so don't skip the video let's go ahead and check this out so let's look at ms outlook email recall options and we'll check out gmail options as well how to delete or remove the emails which you send out accidentally from the recipient's inbox what are the recall options what are the recall reports whether that is 100% reliable or not we'll see some demos as well so let's start with recall status report which is provided by microsoft 365 most of these options shown in this video is related to microsoft 365 exchange online outlook email inbox so microsoft 365 provides message recall status report and you will get notified about this if you have opted for this so we'll see where is that option coming etc but let's see what are the important things in recall status if prompted log in with your email id and password that is your corporate m365 email id and password recall status my show pending for up to several minutes yes that is what i have seen this will stay pending for long time the more recipients are there then it can take more time to get the status changed to recalled or failed we'll continue trying to recall for 24 hours so microsoft will continue trying to recall the message email for 24 hours and this report access will be available only for 7 days after that this report will automatically get deleted this is the recalled status report that you can check out as you can see the message got recalled we'll see whether this is reliable or not in the demo because what i have seen is even though the recipient opened the email and read it after some time shows as recalled probably it is removed from the inbox but the recipient already read the email we we'll look into all those scenarios in the demo as well so let's understand where is this recall email option from ms outlook there are different ways to recall depending on the version of outlook that you are using in the latest versions of outlook if you open up the mail which you sent by mistake and go to three dots over here then you will see an action section over here this is the action section if you click on actions you would be able to see different recall options recall this message resend this message etc this is the option for new outlook if you are using slightly older versions or managed versions of outlook then from the email which you send out you would be able to see this option in this particular section and if you click on this option you would be able to see the same options as here recall this message resend this message etc so these are the two methods to initiate the recall of the email from microsoft outlook when you initiate the recall from the previous option you will get these options in this pop up window so it clearly states that some recipients may have already read this message sometimes recall doesn't make much sense because this is what i have experience message recall can delete or replace copies of this message in recipients inboxes if they have not yet read this message as per my testing that is not an accurate statement because the message got deleted even after reading the message we'll see that details in the demo so there are two options over here one is delete unread copy 
copies of this message and second option is delete unread copies and replace with a new message and this is the option for the report tell me if recall succeeds or fails for each recipient earlier we used to get a mail alert for failure recall etc now microsoft 365 provides a report as you have seen in the previous slide this one so we discussed about this option and this option now let's go to the next slide so this is the bonus tip where i'm going to tell you how to recall the messages or emails from gmail so if you send an email from gmail immediately you will get this particular message on the bottom side of your screen if you immediately click on undo button then that message won't go out or gmail won't send out this particular message and to confirm this you will get sending undone alert over here at the bottom so where is the undo send option in gmail if you go to settings you will see send cancellation period the maximum allowed period is 30 seconds it is not minutes it is seconds so gmail will wait for 30 seconds before it sends out the email if you want you can change the cancellation period send cancellation period as well but there are only four options 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds and 30 seconds. So now let's go to the demo. Let's check out this particular message now. This is the report. Message recall report for message failed to recall. So in this scenario, I have sent a message email to support at the rate how to manage devices.com. And if you see, you can see the message got deleted even after reading the message. So that is why I said the statement from Microsoft is not accurate. We'll see what I meant let's check out this report over here and you can see it is recalled the mail is recalled and it is not available in this particular inbox so let's go back and initiate a mail from here recall one I'm going to send out a email recall one message and that is unread I'm not going to read this message so I'm going to send this out okay I'm sending it I have sent it now if I go to send items and open this message, the option is over here to recall these three dots. If you click on that, you will get actions over here. In the actions, you will get this recall this message option. So let's do that again. Actions, recall this message and then you will get this pop-up window. And in this pop-up window, you will get these two details and a report option. So I'm going to go with the delete and read copies of this message click on ok I okay, did that and you can see over here you try to recall this message on 18th August now see I don't see any messages over here in my support inbox let's go over there and see there's no email right and there's a new report you can see over here I'm going to copy that link and going to open it over here check what is happening now it is pending as i mentioned in the slide it is going to take some time but for this scenario we are sending it only to one particular recipient that would because of this the update will be immediate or it might take two minutes or something we'll go ahead and proceed with another scenario over here in this scenario i'm going to create an email and going to send it to the same mailbox and I'm going to say this is read. I'm going to read this message from another inbox. And then I'm going to initiate the recall. So I have sent it. It's there in the send item. Read one. Now one new message in the inbox. As you can see. Click on inbox. I have read this message. Now let's go back to send items. And I'm opening this read message. Which I read from the inbox. Support inbox over here and i'm going to quickly recall this message so delete unread copies of this message so delete i'm saying delete unread copies there's no unread copy in support mailbox because i read it already 
I'm going to click on OK. Now you can see you try to recall the message, etc., etc. Similar to the last one. Now see if I go back over here in the inbox, support inbox, I can't see that message. It got deleted, but it was not unread. It was read. I read that message already. Okay, that was the second scenario. So, so this is the another report I am going to check to understand what is happening. This is still pending. Let's refresh and try. Now after the refresh it is changed to recall this is the first message where we mentioned unread now this is the third report it's still pending now let's go back and check this third scenario which is the third scenario third scenario is i'm going to send an email to same support mailbox and then read open i'm going to keep this mail open to check whether it would be able to recall or not i have sent that mail and you can see it over here read open and i'm going to open this mail from this support mailbox as you can see i'm trying to reply to this message using this option and then i'm going to go back to my send items over here and trying to recall that read open mail this is the read open mail i'm going to open this read open mail over here click on three dots and then recall this message and i'm going to select delete unread copies option and click on ok as you can see the same thing you try to recall the message now i'm going to close this and i'm going to try oh see that message is gone even i was replying to that message but that message is gone so recall works fine but it is not working the way that microsoft mentioned in the pop-up box etc etc and let me go back to report and refresh it now you can see recalled successfully even though i read this message ideally it should not be recalled it should be failed that was my previous experience when I used to get email alerts on each failure of recall messages from individual inboxes. But with this report and with this recall is always successful, but it doesn't make any sense. See, it got deleted from the inbox, but I have opened this one, right? So these two are already available. So let's try to send this and let's try to close this so let's see how that goes so i send this message this is the recall one i mean the report now i got the message even though i recalled and it's microsoft confirmed that it is recalled and it is not available in the inbox but if you open the email and try to replay it then that will work so this recall functionality it works but it is not perfect as Microsoft documented in their UI. Now that you have seen all the details about Outlook email recall options, where you can get the option and what are the specific options such as deleting the sent email from the inboxes or replacing the email with a new one etc and now you know what is the option in gmail to recall the emails which you have sent by misty hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around